Hi. I haven't done any fancy editing with this movie because I wanted you to see it from start to finish uh, with no gaps or no cuts so as you know that it actually does work. Uh, there are a couple of bloopers in there as a result, but that's just the way it is. Okay, bye. Hi. This video is for anyone who's having trouble getting their World Rally Championship 7 working on their PlayStation 4 with a Logitech G29 steering wheel. Um, the whole setup on it is very, very unusual. So I'm going to run through it from start to finish. Everything's switched off. Nothing's plugged in except for the TV's on, I think. That's all. But uh, so follow these steps exactly. If you don't do that, I can't guarantee you'll get it to work because it's very complicated. Okay, first of all, let me walk across here. You'll see that both the controller here is plugged in and the steering wheel is also plugged in. And now we're going to just switch on the PlayStation. We have to wait for all these things to happen, obviously. But you need to do it in this order. And it will seem complicated, but really it's quite simple once you've done it once or twice. But if you don't know how to do it, it's virtually impossible to sort it out. You can't sort it out once you're in the game, uh, which is what I tried to do for ages. Right, the PlayStation's coming up now. I'm going to sign in using the steering wheel, not the... Uh, controller that came with the Logitech game, no sorry the PlayStation game. So I'm signing in here and sign in there. So now I'm signed in with the steering wheel. Right, so what we're going to do is going to go into WRC7 and press start and now it's asking me to insert the disc. So I'll go across here, insert the disc now remember, do it in this order. Don't have the disc in there and boot it up. Do it exactly as you see here. So it's booted up. Now we're inserting the disc. And the application is starting. Now at this moment in time, we're on this steering wheel. And it looks like it's working. The light's on. The force feedback's going. So we're sort of locked into the steering wheel. But when we get so far into the game, it won't work anymore. Um, we just have to wait for this all to happen, I'm afraid. It's not too long on this one. The official game, WRC7. Okay, spinning wheel, won't be long now. Patiently, patiently. <laughs> once, you, once you get to know this is easy, so... Now... It's going to ask us to press the options button and if we do that on the steering wheel you can see I can do it as many times as I like hold it down for long periods do it three four times in a row doesn't make any difference this is where we have to go to this controller to press two buttons and that's all we do we press the PS button and then we sign in with this controller Okay, now that one's finished with. We don't need that anymore now. We're going to go back to this one. And it says press the options button now. And we'll press the options button and you'll see it's working. And I'll prove it's working. We'll go through and just start up a quick game. Because you'll want to know that it's all right. You can actually see the light now has come back on on the PS steering wheel there. You can probably see it against my finger a bit or something. So if we press OK, that's it, and in we go. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go OK on that one. I haven't got it online at the moment. So we'll just do a solo game anyway. So solo, quick game, Rally Monte Carlo, do whatever it wants. Let's get this seated position. Not that I'm going to go very far, but... Still the spinning disc, there's no force feedback at the moment though. We've got to wait for that when the game starts. Now nothing happens when this first car shoots away. It'll start happening in a minute. Okay. I 
have to select the game, change where I want to watch it. You can see I'm revving away at the moment. The force feedback's working. So you can see it's actually working. I'm just going to drive at the bank here. We don't need to go any further than that. You can actually see the, see the wheels moving. It's all working perfectly. That's all you need to know. But you must do it step by step, as I showed you. If you do anything differently, I doubt that it'll work. Best of luck.